I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on complex numbers. We have two very important test questions here, which are related to the properties of modulus of complex numbers. We need to prove that modulus of z1 plus z2 whole square is equal to z1 square plus z2 square plus 2 times real value of z1, z2 conjugate, right? So that bar also indicates the conjugate. So let me write down the nomenclature. Uh, the conjugate of a complex number can be written with a bar on the top or it could be written with a star here. Okay. So both are conjugate. of the complex number z. A very similar property is that the modulus of z1 minus z2 whole square is equal to z1 square plus z2 square minus 2 times real value of z1 times z2 modulus. Now these two are very important questions. You can always pause the video, answer these questions. Now once we prove this, we will take up a practice test worksheet which include nine questions. Uh, so let me share those nine questions with you. You can always pause this video, copy these questions also and try to answer them. Question number four and five are exactly what we are trying to answer in this particular video, right? So these are multiple choice questions which are normally seen in test papers. And here are question number six, seven, and 8 and 9. Out of which question number 9 is uh, as a thinking question, right? Which could be in any test paper. Now, with that said, let's begin with the proof for the, you can say, an identity for complex numbers. So we'll do the first one, which is the complex number z1 plus z2 whole square, right? The absolute value. So whenever we say absolute value square, that means it is equal to the sum of z1 and z2 times the conjugate of z1 plus z2, right? Let's use this uh, bar notation as becomes simpler to explain with this notation, right? Now you have learned few properties of a modulus function. The conjugate of z1 plus z2 can be written as the sum of their conjugates, right? So we could write this as z1 plus z2 equals to sum of conjugate of z1 and conjugate of z2, correct? Now we'll apply the distributive property. So we'll multiply with z1 both these terms. So we get z1 times conjugate of z1 plus z1 times conjugate of z2 plus z2 times conjugate of z1 plus z2 times conjugate of z2. Now z1, z2 conjugates when you multiply you get z1 square. Here, z2 and its conjugate, when you multiply, you get z2 absolute value square, correct? Now, we have z1, z2 bar. We need two times real value z1, z2 bar. So, we'll maintain this. So, we have z1, z2 bar. Now, let's see how to rewrite z2, z1 bar. So we look into this particular part, which is kind of very important to understand. Now, let me work out, uh, just uh, divide this page for simplicity and clarity. So what we are going to do here is, we'll check what is actually equal to Z2, Z1, Z2, Z1 bar conjugate equals to, right? So this complex number is what? So that is equals to the product of z2 bar times z1 conjugate of conjugate, right? 
Now the conjugate of conjugate is the complex number itself. So what we get here is z2 power times z1 or you could write this as z1 times z2 bar. Right? So that we to actually replace the other term. So let us also see what is the result of z1, z2 conjugate conjugate. Right? Let's see the result of this. Now that means we have z1 conjugate times z2 conjugate of conjugate and that can be written as z1 conjugate times z2. Correct? So basically z1 conjugate z2 or you can say z2 times z1 conjugate can be written as z1, z2 conjugate, the whole conjugate. Correct? So what we will do here is that we will replace the second term which is z2, z1 conjugate, right? And we will replace it with the term there which is z1, z2 conjugate bar. Correct. So now we have written this part in conjugates of one another, correct? So this could be written as z1 square plus z2 square plus here. Now we have conjugates sum of a complex number and its conjugate, right? Which is equals to two times real value of z1 z2 conjugate it does make sense to you right? so that is how we can get our expression as shown in this particular question so i hope that helps you to understand the derivation now you can follow the same concept and prove the next identity that is what is when we are considering z1 minus z2 bar whole square so let's do that now on a fresh page So what we have here is the left side is the complex number z1, z2 difference modulus square. So that is equal to the product of z1 minus z2 with z1 minus z2 bar, the conjugate, right? Uh, the whole bar. Now, this can be written as, just as we did in the previous part of our video, this can be written as z1 bar minus z2 bar. Now we'll multiply using distributive property. So we get z1, z1 bar plus z2, z2 bar. And with this, we'll multiply that. We get minus of z1, z2 bar. And minus of z2, z1 bar. Correct. So the first two terms are modulus squares. So we have z1 square plus z2 square. And now, here we have z1, z2 conjugate. Now again, we could write this part as equal to negative of z1, z2 conjugates, conjugate, correct? So you can again prove this part that the conjugate of z1, z2 bar is z2, z1 bar. So let's go it, prove it once again. So we have z1, z2 bar conjugate as equal to z1 conjugate times z2 conjugate of conjugate and that is z1 conjugate times z2 or as z2 times z1 conjugate correct so we get z2 times z1 conjugate as shown here perfect 
and that helps you to prove the identity which is z1 square plus z2 square minus two times uh, real value right they add up or you can take minus first and we can do it in two steps right we have z1 z2 plus z1 z2 conjugates conjugate now here we are trying to find the sum of two conjugates which is two times the real value right so it is z1 square plus z2 square minus twice real value of z1 z2 bar so we use two nomenclatures z1 z2 z2 bar is same as the complement with star right so remember that uh, when we are writing z2 bar it is also same as z2 star right that means complement conjugate of complex number c right so i hope you understand how to prove this particular identity now this is a very important identity now after this you can take up the worksheet which we shared with you i hope it makes sense feel free to write a comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best